was researching Cranfield, um, one of the things that was clear to me was that Cranfield is really skilled at taking people from a range of different disciplines and then turning them into subject matter experts, uh, which really appealed to me because I wanted to study engineering, but my background actually is in engineering, it's in maths. Um, and the other thing that kind of really drew me to Cranfield was it's clearly had really strong links with industry, um, which I think is really beneficial because it means that the courses are able to kind of be designed to be the most relevant and most up-to-date to what the kind of industry requirements are at the moment. Because I kind of was keen to be able to kind of apply my mathematical skills to really practical problems in the world um, and I'm actually I'm a net zero scholar because one of the things I'm really passionate about is achieving net zero emissions and tackling climate change so I think I, I kind of realized that one of the best ways I could do that would be to upskill myself as an engineer and tackle the problem that way. Uh, I think the highlight was towards the end of my group project recently. Uh, my team and I presented our results to the company who were designing the component that we'd been investigating. Uh, and it was I was kind of really nervous before the presentation, but it went really well. Um, and we had like a really interesting discussion about our results. Um, and the team there seemed really impressed with what we'd done. And it felt, just felt like a really kind of satisfying combination of all the hard work that we'd put in over the previous couple of months. Um, I've actually found it worked surprisingly well. I was a bit nervous about it beforehand, um, but then I was pleasantly surprised by how easily I found like learning on, on Zoom and Zoom lectures and all the lectures are recorded, which made it nice and easy to kind of go back and review, review different sections. So for me personally, it, it's worked quite well. I would say to anyone who's kind of considering applying for Cranfield to like absolutely go for it. I think um, to be prepared for it to be a real challenge, but also for it to be really fulfilling and absolutely kind of worth that challenge. Um, and especially I would say that to make the most of the kind of networking opportunities here at Cranfield, I think one of the great things about here being here is how diverse and international the community is. And I think kind of getting to know as many people as possible um, and building that network is, is a really beneficial thing to do. there's been some challenges around the pandemic um, and kind of limitations on being able to meet people face to face but definitely in the last few months of things started to open up and um, I've kind of made the most of the opportunities. And there's loads of societies here at Cranfield and for example I play rugby and um, so I train here with the rugby team twice a week and um, which is really fun and it's actually mixed so it's my first experience playing rugby with boys <laughs> but they're really nice and really friendly and it's kind of like I think it represents that inclusiveness here at Cranfield um, and yeah I have a great fun every Tuesday and Thursday when it's even when it's raining it's still a good time. <laughs> My favourite would be um, quite recently actually when we finally finished our group project. Um, my team and I went out to the pub um, and just had a really nice evening celebrating um, and it just was a really nice release after kind of the hard work of the group project um, and being able to say well, you know we did it guys um, and kind of celebrate that that was that was really good. I would say probably um, excellence, challenge, fulfilment and community.